Hello, uh, sorry I haven't done a video in quite a little while, but uh, it's summer here up in the Great White North and sometimes it's a little nicer outside than it is in the garage, so I've slowed down a little bit, but I'm going to try and get back on it now for a little while anyways and uh, start working on the front suspension of the uh, screw drive ATV. So I'll show you what I'm thinking here and start making some parts. So the way I'm planning the front uh, suspension on this thing is going to be similar to the setup that would have on an old tractor or something like that. So it's actually going to be a one piece arm that's attached to the screws and it's going to pivot in the middle here. Um, it'll also be attached to these strut, uh, struts here and that's going to just kind of keep pressure on it when it's still tilting and uh, help stabilize the uh, machine left to right. Um, first order of business there is going to be uh, making some new brackets for the bottoms of these uh, struts because the original spindles were a big cast aluminum piece on the ATV and they wouldn't adapt to this very well so I need to make some new pieces that are going to clamp and hold and will support the bottom of the spring and then also be able to attach to my front arm so I already cut some pieces out for that I'm just going to kind of tack that up together and I'll show you exactly what I'm thinking there So again, just using a wooden template, I've cut out some brackets here. I've also found a piece of pipe that slides on here nice. So what I'll end up doing is cutting a slot out of this and making a pinch bolt on it. And then these brackets are going to weld to the sides. Something like that kind of setup. All right, so I've got two of these shock strut mounts finished. Uh, they're fully welded up. You can see I put the pinch bolt on the back. Allows me to clamp it onto the strut itself. I also cut these aluminum uh, little spacers that sit on top and that supports the spring. This will be the mounting area that I'll mount to my arm. So it goes on like so. Now that's all fine and dandy, but uh, when I was doing these, actually, I finally have figured out the front suspension. I couldn't be happier. The great gods of fabrication have rained from the heavens and have given me exactly what I need. And that is, I was really talking about that uh, tractor, articulating tractor crap. Well, I'm done with that. Four link. So, same as a off-road vehicle, like a four-wheel drive, like a rock crawler kind of thing. I'm going to build a four link for the front of this that's going to support an axle and that axle is going to run between the two screws. The screws are going to act as the bottom links and then I'll have a triangulated top link on the top of the axle. Uh, this may sound like gibberish to you so I'm probably just going to start building it but this is going to work, it's going to work great. I'm going to be able to have up and down movement and articulation and uh, it's going to look awesome. So uh, next step you got to cut and get rid of all this crap so I got room for the uh, front axle to move around and then start uh, hooking up some links to it. I think this is going to be really sweet. the chunk of frame I took out had all the original uh, mounting spots for the front differential stuff and the jack shaft big chunk of garbage here so I'm gonna chuck that and now I have this big open space here and what I'm gonna do is just re reinforce this frame back here at more of a slope and that's gonna allow room for my suspension in the front so I'll get this brace back up and get the frame back rigid
All right, so here we go. I've totally opened up the front of this machine now. This stuff used to come way down here and be all on the way. So now I'm gonna be able to run my front arm up at full frame height, over and then down again. And I'm also gonna be able to have my two, two angled links coming from the center piece out to the front arm. And like I said, that is gonna stabilize side to side and then the actual screws themselves are gonna be anchoring the bottom of this front member. And then, as the rear squats, this will be able to move with it. Anyways, it probably all sounds like gibberish right now, but um, lots of good progress here. So I'll keep you posted on the front arm. That'll be the next order of business.